Hey guys, welcome back to more Immortals of Avium. In the last one, I was doing chapter 7 or 8, I believe. I think it was chapter 7, like right in the beginning of it. And um, I saw that this game was just updated. So when I checked the patch notes, apparently they finally added, there it is, a gamma correction setting in the display. And I talked about this in the very first part where when I was watching cutscenes, it kind of looked like everything was like very, very bright looking, you know? So I'm going to just turn that down a little bit and see... Um, What's the most down? Okay, I don't know if that's a good idea. I was just, I just kind of wish they showed like an example somewhere in the screen on how it would look. But um, let's see, the default was in the middle here somewhere. So I'll just turn it down until like, I don't know, two? Would that, would that be good enough? I don't know. And uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, the whole thing is different now. It's all darker. Is that too dark? I don't know. I guess it's a little better. Let's continue to see what happens next. I mean, so far it kind of looks the same in here because it's all bright and blue. So yeah, right now we're playing Chapter 7. Nasia, deliver the portal stone to Selko and Lordsvel. Selko, what's up, man? So, uh, Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it, though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just, if I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful, since I'm, like, part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Great, great. I'm part of the plan, but I'm not part of the plan. Asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosia. Our parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh huh. See you soon. Meets Kirkin in Nosia. Nokia. Nokia or Nosia? I forgot the. The pronunciation of that word. I think it's Nosia. Because Nokia makes no sense. That's a K, not a C. Nokia is a K. Nosia is a C. Yep, don't need a lot of spending energy on you because you're kind of weak. Okay, so it's not a ball and chain. It's like a... Whoa. What do you call that shape? And you're gone. It's a... It's a stick, a rope, and uh, some sort of weird looking... It's not a ball. But it's like something heavy and attached to it. Oh, what the... Oh, I'm trying to make it up there. I was hoping I can dash and then hover. I gotta space up my jumping. You're quite literally not safe against me.
Got him. Ascension's three. That means I have three skill points. You know what? I should probably use them. That's a good idea, Axel. Yeah, the game getting a little too easy. That's because they give me this really powerful blue weapon in the very beginning. Which I still can't tell if that was like a pre-order thing or was I given that as a reward for the first few missions. Is that like a teleporting portal? Yep, it is. Don't need that right now. I am A-OK -okay for at the moment. some corruption. Can I heal it? Get some pretty good rewards out of it. I hear something sparkling around this area. Is it above me? Oh, there it is. It does not lock on the fairies. Easy puzzle, good rewards. A blast wave ring. The hell's a torch ring? Torrent damage, blast wave damage. Oh, it's like a better version of what this is. Do I still have a blast wave? I don't know. I don't think so. Wait, what's Blast Wave again? Oh, it's my um ability thing. Okay, yeah. I'll probably still use that a lot more. But what's the other ring? Hold on. Shatter damage. What's shatter? I'm thinking about the other game I played, Atlas Fallen. That had like some sort of shatter ability, but what, what does that mean in this game? So I don't know, I'll just put on the Torrent Ring so I know what that does. You know, it might be a placebo, but I think the whole contrast thing sort of fixed it, because the game was like a lot more brighter, but it seems like the the lighting is more like I guess realistic. Torpid Fane. No 
away. What the hell happened? What? Why did it fall off? Okay, um, so on all sides on that thing, is that, does that hurt me? I did it, I got more health. Oh, man, it maximum increased. Oh, look, I have like um, four full bars now. Great. I just realized I never used my beam since my tutorial, like the whole super powerful move. I should probably use it against like the bosses. Got some corruption. Whoa, what is this place? Oh, another item. Never mind. It was just stuff like materials. I was hoping for a new gear item, like something different instead of just weapons or rings. You know, now I think about it. Bracer, soldier wraps. Okay, so it's just this. Yeah, I have not got anything new for that. I think everything else, you just have to craft yourself with like um, very expensive money materials. Whoa, it looks trippy. Look at that.
Oh, right, I could have just teleported. Would have made things a lot more easier. But hey, that just means if I teleported, I wouldn't be able to do all the side stuff. Haven't I already gone through here? It's the Pale Force, right? I could have sworn I had to put down this bridge. Haven't sheer. I guess I haven't been here before. More sparkling. Corrosive ring. That sounds pretty cool. All damage over time effects. All right, I'll keep that. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just leave the puzzle alone so I can't figure it out. I ran around in circles for you know a couple times and I just couldn't see what else I'm supposed to interact with. Oh, uh, what is this? Up ahead. Game face, Jack. Game face, Jack. No see a bridge portal unlocked. Uh oh. Hey there. Not working, not working. Damn, buddy, you're tough. Oh, it's a bracer. Nice. What does that do? More armor and more melee damage. Love to see that. Ugh, I'm stronger now. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, 
What's the plan? To know, this all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirken that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war. By turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound. He's moving it. We have to go. Now, fall back! Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkens left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkin's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that. Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Well, I'm already here, so open up. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Rishard. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. To pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. 
If there's a weakness to the very Aristane Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mm, sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oramond, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oramond, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oramon is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. What's a ley line? Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. I just got a whole bunch of lore stuff entries. Chapter 8, Exile! Speak to Devin. Hey, Devon. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a Shroud Fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nosia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell, and I'll tell you where we go from there. Great, we're talking about my lash, which means am I gonna be able to unlock the the ability to get on those points that's around the map? These things. Can I start grabbing on those? That'd be great. I can swing like Spider-Man. Man, I can't wait for Spider-Man 2. I'm just gonna be playing that game all the time once it comes out. Nothing else. Like whatever playthrough I'm doing, dropping instantly just to play Spider-Man 2. No see a bridge. Here we go. Baddies are ready? You know what they say, it's fast to switch weapons than reloading. I should do that more often because a lot of the times I just wait for my weapon to reload and I can just like switch my red and just one shot the rest of their health. And I fell off. <laughs> you dead.
All right, again, I'm just trying to save some money, so I didn't buy anything. I just upgraded the stuff that I already have now. Learn the grapple spell in Havenshire. Corruption. Okay. That's what you're supposed to learn. You're a big one. Fish it off. Greater Lylon defeated. I got a Serene Maelstrom. A rare one. Let's take a look at that one. Does less damage but more fire rate and more ammo too. Whoa. It goes more straighter. It kind of reminds me of Doctor Strange, the way it, like, it moves in a circle in the tip. I mean, it's all magic, so a lot of it's going to remind me of Doctor Strange. Shroud Fane, Grapple Fane. That's it? No challenge? No enemies defeat? Augment unlocked, Grapple. Press X to ride a ley line, allowing you to travel quickly or find secret areas. Oh, this thing? Oh, kind of reminds me of Bioshock Infinite with the those uh, grinding lines you can do. Like, literally like that. So after you grapple on something, it restarts your second jump. And a hover, too. So it's good to know. Imagine being able to do it like a double jump, like one, two, and then hover after a grapple. Got a lot of hops with that. Devin, where do I head next? I've got the spell I need to ride the ley lines. Splendid. The ley line we need to get to Orban is close by. Heading your way, then. Well, at least I'm glad to know that these lines are meant for something and not just like they're visually. You know, to look appealing. I can actually ride these things to like other locations that are secretive.
Oh, I'm supposed to go down there. Hold on. Grab on the ley line. Hey, what's up? Devin, right? Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gatteront. Mix stupid ideas with bold, magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oriman. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? Other mission intel. Um, now let's go. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Reach Orman. <laughs>